Okay. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, glass of wine, thanks. That's red. Coming up. So, where are you from? Oh, you mean the accent? Australia originally, Melbourne. There's a, there's a place in town called the Outback it's where all the uh, Australians hang out. One of them, anyway, he owned the joint. Yeah. Yeah, back huh? Must remember that. Well, that's wonderful. Now that you no longer have an interest in Luke's, doesn't mean that you should drive all of our customers away. Well, not at all. I was just, I was just, you know, I thought he, he might be more comfortable sitting with his countrymen. So, um, you gonna have dinner with us tonight? Yes, as soon as the young lady arrives, I'm getting payback for some flying lessons that I'm giving. Oh. You, uh, you have to be certified to do that. Yes. Well, uh, is there anything you don't do? Not much. <laughs> So, would this, uh, would this happen to be my old pal, Lois, you're teaching to fly? <laughs> oh, don't I wish. No, no, she's a stubborn one. She insists that she's happily married, in spite of my best efforts. Uh, my sympathies. Oh, not to worry. I'm not about to give up the battle quite yet. You know, uh, Mr. Corinthos here, uh, has known Lois since way back. Really? Yeah, really. Well, perhaps you can tell me something. Is Lois the kind of woman who's inclined to change her mind? Not often. I, I've, I've been known to uh, defend her honor against all kinds of slugs. Yeah, but you must admit, she has an impeccable taste in friends. Can I keep you waiting? It was worth every minute. Aww. Takes all kinds. <sighs> Mike, did Jax tell you that I flew a plane today? Well, he mentioned <laughs> something about that. It was unbelievable. Something tells me she liked it. No, I loved it, and I can't wait to do it again. And Jack is going to help me get my pilot's license, and then I will take you flying. Well, I appreciate that, Brenda, but I have this thing about heights. Uh-huh. All right, that's fine. You're lost. I guess it's just me and you, darling. The things I go through. <laughs> your best table? Right here. Thanks. Now, why is this your best table exactly? Because it's close to the stage. <laughs> Sorry, my car oh, didn't start. Hey, well, I'll just buy another one. <laughs> You're going to spy on me. That's the plan. Have I mentioned to you how happy I am to see you? Not yet. I thought you never ask. Would you like to dance? Nah, nah, nah. I, I'm not into being an exhibitionist. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of that going around. <laughs> You're the best. <gasps> is something wrong, Mike? I'm just wondering if this place is going to uh, ignite. I'll be right back. Now you're a wonder, Brenda. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Why is that? Well, you seem to be able to do two, even three things at the same time. Although I'm rather used to having the attention of the woman I'm with directed at me. You mean them? Well, I hate them. Especially her. Although he is getting up there on my list. Oh, you have a list? I'll have to remember that. All right, there's plenty of info on the whole Jack's family, but this one, oh, 
this one's a piece of work. Go on. Well, he's not above using women to get what he wants. Now, the word is that his last buyout was expedited by some inside information he got from the wife of the CEO. Okay, that's all interesting, but it doesn't, it doesn't count as what else you got? Well, the closest I've come is that some of Frank Smith's boys in New York approached him about going into business on some pension plan. Well, he turned them down cold. Why? Because he likes to play his way. Well, they say he's hard-nosed and real bottom line. So I'll get you a little more information on writing tomorrow. Keep, keep digging, okay? Okay. Why isn't Lois on the board of directors of ELQ? Why do you ask that? Well, she has a lot to offer. You now, I thought uh, Ashton and Edward Quartermain would have recognized that and uh, taken advantage of her. Yeah, well, she's, you know, she's made that choice. She likes to have her own little company separate from men. Does that mean that uh, she doesn't want her husband playing around with her business either? Ned's very involved in her business. It just means that she gets to stay away from the Quartermain influence as much as possible, and they're both happy that way.